So, um, Alice, you had another question, right? Yes, I guess I did. Um, in the Bronze Age, mm -hmm. copper. What was the most valuable, non-edible, non-metal substance? Copper. <laughs> I had a psychic <laughs> moment. I knew what the answer was. But that's metal. Yeah, it's metal. No, it isn't. You mean it's copper? copper? Oh yeah, sorry, copper. Copper. Oh. Copper. It was a mealy type substance they ate when they no, ran out of. No, it was not edible though. The not not edible non metal substance. Yeah, you didn't eat it. I mean, it's edible, but I mean, it's deadly. Yeah. It's like eating poison ivy. Yeah, I mean, you just wouldn't do that. Actually, you just wouldn't do that. <coughs> oh, okay. They actually uh, use it to pack the doors to keep the plague out. Oh, yeah. that's they why it's probably the valuable substance. Makes yeah. complete sense. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have a question. Um, isn't there a peanut butter fish? I mean, there actually used to be in ancient times, there was such a thing as a peanut butter fish. See now, really? yeah, yeah. I, I've seen Finding Nemo, I'm pretty sure everyone has. If you look really closely, there is a peanut butter fish. You, right next to Nemo. Oh my god. So, <laughs> probably next to the mesothin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Why don't they cut that out? Because, you know, people don't like yeah. peanut butter. Peanut butter is bad for you. Well, George Washington Carver actually was influenced by that because he used to fish a lot. And he was also at archaeological. I didn't know that. Where he goes and looks for bones and stuff. So, I bet he liked peanut butter. It makes complete sense that he never, you know, create peanut Go butter. to your local library and look that up. I mean, that's, that is fascinating. Wow.